Hello friends, uh, Jeffy here. First of all, let me explain. To get into this Christmas spirit, I uh, wanted to pay homage to my favorite seasonal movie, A Christmas Story, hence the outfit. Somebody at work gave me a, a great idea to decorate the tree. He said, why don't you decorate the tree with some models? And when I thought about it, it's not all that crazy. And actually after doing a whole year of stressful model building, this can be a, a family project. It's very easy if you need some bonding time with your kids, this is the way to do it. Even if you're a wife of a modeler, maybe you can surprise your husband by doing that. It's a lot of fun. It's very easy and I would like to demonstrate this. You don't have to do it uh, all at once. You don't have to make 10 or 15 ornaments. Uh, just uh, make a couple and do it every year and, and it will give you some good memories uh, to reflect about. Here at Squadron, we have an array of, of models, uh, snap tights, easy build, uh, very inexpensive. We have armor, airplanes, helicopters from World War II all the way, well, World War I, World War II, Korea, all the way up to modern. I would like to show you uh, a couple tricks to turn a normal kit into, uh, into a Christmas ornament. So let's get at it. So to make one of the ornaments, I, uh, I chose the Corsair. I made a few other ones. I made the Spitfire, I did the, uh, the F-16. I made like a, a little tank. But for, to demonstrate this, how easy it actually can be and how fun it is, I picked the, the Corsair. Now, these easy assemblies, these quick builds, let's say from Hobby Boss, are very inexpensive. They're actually a very good quality. The whole idea behind the easily assembly kit is that you to you don't need glue. Now there might be some areas where you have to use a drop of uh, super glue. It all uh, fits together like you would expect. Let's open the box and see what's in here. You got the decals. Uh, another thing is, you know, we're gonna do this in, in, in a silver or in a gold a chrome kind of a thing. Looks Christmassy, looks ornamental. And I, I didn't really care about putting the decals on. So you can, that's up to you. You can make it any way you want. You can even, you can basically even paint the model, but the whole idea is to make a, a quick, fast build and uh, do a few in a row. This is the instruction sheet, comes with a little color leaflet. And honestly, when you look at the pieces, they really, really look very detailed. I, I was amazed how, how well they are put together. Uh, the wings are put together already. The fuselage is extremely detailed. Uh, it even has a seat in there and a stick. You don't have to worry about the seam lines. It's very amazing that they can do this. These are not really very expensive kits and it's easily to spend a couple dollars and uh, make an ornament out of it and have something special. It's more like a conversation piece. These are the basics, not much going on. We have a drop tank, landing gear, some doors. Even the cowling and the engine are one piece. Propeller is one piece. We have some rockets here. And, and again, you know, you don't have to go to the down to the nitty gritty about adding those rockets on there. If you have time and, and you want to do the extra effort, that's fine. If not, I would just only bother with uh, maybe the drop tank and the wheels. And other than that, uh, there's not much to it. Uh, you got the stabilizers here. They should be easily to mount. There is enough tension uh, that uh, you don't even have to use glue. It also comes with two cockpits, open one and a closed one. Again, I opted for the closed one so you don't have to see inside because everything will be covered up in paint. Fit is through. This might be, as you can see, this might be the only thing that you probably have to glue on and that it will stay on. But other than that, it should be straightforward. Let's start. As far as tools, I think a scalpel or an, or an X-Acto knife if you have one and maybe a fine to medium sanding stick if necessary and maybe a tweezers so this is all you need and maybe a little bit of super glue just to keep close you also need one of these just to get the things off the sprue the parts of the sprue so but other than that and that's it first we do is the putting the wing assembly onto the fuselage and as you can see uh, you just squeeze it in there Like that and it's pretty sturdy now again you can add a little bit of uh, because sometimes the tension is really so tight that it pushes itself back out again so it might be wise to 
use a drop of super glue just to keep it in place which I will do right now as I mentioned before a, a, a drop of super glue is enough uh, just to put it on your tip of your knife and just let it flow in there and uh, that should be good enough again don't go overboard uh, it's an ornament it doesn't have to you don't have to sand you don't have to sand the seam lines or anything as long as you get like a decent fit it's good to go you can put the uh, the engine on just maybe it just maybe a tad of super glue just just in case we're almost there as I mentioned before the canopy you definitely have to yeah you definitely have to apply some super glue around it don't have to worry if you spill some because it's all gonna be covered up anyway it's just a way to keep it in place there you go this comes with uh, two duct tanks so. again you can take this as far as you want it to be but you don't even have to uh, mount those drop tanks but it looks a little cooler so I'm trimming here and there like I said where the the ejection uh, mold marks are you and where you cut it off the tree with you have to uh, trim it a little bit so you sand off the excess plastic so you have a, a tight fit also in this case don't go overboard it's not necessary that you have a smooth a smooth seam it's just make it fit better that's the only thing that matters See, this doesn't even acquire any glue and there you go now it's just a matter of adding some details like the undercarriage this might need a little glue too just to keep them in place you don't want them to fall off eventually the paint will help keep everything in place too we're almost there as i mentioned in the intro it's amazing how detailed this thing is it's it's just beyond belief it's really really refined detail you get like in, uh, scribed panel lines very neatly very crisp all the detail is there and you hardly have to, uh, have to do any work Again, uh, you have to smoothen out the injection pin marks here and there, no big deal. Also, uh, if by any, if, if you have to put it up for next year and it falls apart, you can always glue it back together or push it back together. I'm not gonna bother with the rockets, there is no use for, so you can leave those off. That might be a little bit I'll glue too. Okay, now all we have to do is put the wheel doors on and we're good to go. This is basically it. Didn't take long. I mean, it's about 10-15 minutes. If you, you can take a little bit more time if you want to spend a little bit more in sanding and trimming but as far as I am concerned it's fine I mean it, it looks great it's uh, and, and most of the paint will cover up any blemishes anyway now the last thing you need to do is either use a small eyelet if you find one but I found out that there the smallest eyelet was still a little bit too cumbersome so uh, I'm looking for the point of gravity and try to determine where it is and then I just drill a hole and I think in this case I'm just gonna go through the cockpit glass and a drill it's the drill is about one millimeter and i'm just gonna drill through it we have to secure it we have to make we have to make some sort of a loop out of copper wire so you can attach a, a string to it to hang it in the tree i'm just gonna make a hole and then we use a little bit of a little bit of copper wire just a small string uh, any thickness will do and just make a loop just like this and then just gently get it into the hole like this here Make sure you leave it big enough so you can do a string to it and then you put like a drop of super glue on top of it so the, the copper wire will stay in place 
And there you go. We're gonna uh, spray paint this. Now you can use your airbrush, but again, that is too much trouble for what it's meant for. So you can go to Home Depot, Lowe's, even Walmart sells them. Valspar is, is actually uh, very good. It, it's excellent. Uh, it leaves a chrome sheen on it. You can either do gold, you can do silver, bronze, whatever you want to. You can even do several pieces like, uh, for instance, you can leave the cowling off and do the cowling in, uh, in a different color. Uh, maybe the drop tanks in a different color. That's up to you. The prop for demonstration purposes, I just opted for, for one color, but you, you can do, sky is the limit, you know. Let's get this little uh, gem painted. I cut up a box and made a little spray booth, very inexpensive. So if you have a small box, just cut a few sides out. Uh, so you have a back wall and two side walls. You can even leave the top on, but for filming purposes, I had to leave that off. So this is actually a perfect little spray booth, inexpensive and quickly made. You don't have to mess up your uh, your area where you're doing it and now we're gonna spray paint first of all i'm gonna spray paint the bottom try to do it in uh, small bursts so you don't get any runners or leaks or overspray Since I'm breathing all the fumes here, uh, I just realized you might be better to do this outside and not in a closed confinement like I'm doing here, but uh, just for uh, show purposes, um, uh, again, make sure you do that in a well-ventilated area. Here we are, we got it done, looks pretty good. I'm very uh, very pleased with the result and again, we, we all did this under, <laughs> I think about 20 minutes, maybe even less. So to make it more festive and bring it into the spirit of Christmas, I secured a piece of red string. Red is of course in, in the, the color of Christmas. Very easy, so we are just pushing it through the loophole. If I be able to do that. Again, it's, this is not as easy as I thought. There we go. Just like that. And we make a little knot in there. And there you have it. Very simple. But very neat. Also it will be a conversation piece so when you have people over you can tell the story maybe talk about the plane itself and learn something about World War II or about the, the plane itself. And there you have it so now let's put it on the tree. So okay friends here we are at the tree um, finally the big moment. Uh, I brought my lovely wife Jill uh, to help me because she's uh, better in decorating than I am. We selected, uh, as you can see, uh, I got mine here. Uh, we selected an array of models, inexpensive models that are appropriate to make Christmas ornaments. Just click on the link. It will guide you to the selection. So uh, let me hang it on here. Just uh, If you wanna uh, kiss somebody under the mistletoe, why don't you do it under a missile this year? So Jeffy here, signing off. Oh, I have to go. <laughs> I keep getting these blackouts. So anyway, while we're while still recording, we can... Uh... Oh, yeah. I tried to do a um, homage to my most uh, favorite Christmas movie. You ever seen an angry rabbit in your life? <laughs>